my name is Isabella Perdomo. I'm from Mass.FIU where I'm a senior and I live in the city of Miami Beach. I developed novel technology to improve blood circulation using complex ultrasonic waveforms that are based on vessel functions and the tractor beam concept. The inspiration from the project came from my love for biomedical engineering and uh, my desire to study the field, also plenty of previous research in ultrasonic technology, whether it be in environmental engineering or in biomedical engineering. Here we have three different uh, waveforms that you can find in medical technology. This one is the one that most commercial tech medical technology uses a simple square wave. However, what I wanted to do was make it more complex and possibly more effective by using the concept of a Bessel function. And a Bessel function is when you have a circular membrane and you hit the middle, the waveform produced is a Bessel function. This year I wanted to gain more control over the waveform that was being emitted by the ultrasonic transducer, and so I found a way to mathematically generate the Bessel function waveform. Now, what this allows me to do is not only gain more control over what waveform is being emitted, but to gain more control over how the waveform is influencing the particles that it's being applied to. Here in this simulation, you can see the uh, mathematically generated vessel function uh, tractor beam waveform, and the red dot in the middle represents the target particle that I'm speaking about. Now, the target particle is trapped in the nulls of the waveform. And if I press play to show the waveform in action, you can see that the, the waveform is actually moving and it's being phase shifted multiple times. And what's that, what's, what that's doing is it's taking the target particle and shifting it around with it. It's pushing and pulling it. Now, if this phase shift didn't occur, the particle would be trapped in the middle of the waveform, but it wouldn't be moving around. That's why the tractor being based mathematically generated function is more effective. Here we have the C code that was written to mathematically generate the Bessel function tractor beam based waveform. You can see throughout the program it is calculating the Bessel function and then at the end here you can see where the phase shift is occurring to create that tractor beam push pull effect. Here's the overall block diagram of my system. Here we have the Raspberry Pi 3D Plus, which is the CPU that is operating the entire project. It is connected to a small display that you can see here, which is showing us the vessel function based tractor beam waveform. Now, the Raspberry Pi 3D Plus is sending data to the parallel digital to analog converter. It is important to have the parallel digital to analog converter because it allows me to have a higher sampling rate when representing the mathematically generated tractor beam vessel function. Uh, waveform. Uh, in previous years, I, I used a serial digital to analog converter, but that was not fast enough and it didn't give me a high enough sampling rate. Uh, since this year, the waveform is much more complex, therefore I need a higher resolution when representing the waveform. Now, from there, the information goes to the ultrasonic amplifier, where it is amplified, and then to the ultrasonic transducer, which is then emitted at the ultrasonic frequency range, this is the ultrasonic transducer. The data was collected using this blood flow circulation apparatus. This is composed of tubing that is concentrated here, a peristaltic pump to help simulate blood flow, and a pressure gauge. The blood stimulant was inserted into the system, and here where the tubing is concentrated, the ultrasonic therapy method was applied for 120 minutes. Now, you can see here the waveform lifetime that is being emitted by the ultrasonic transducer. Again, this was done for 120 minutes for the four different methods, and the pressure was recorded in five minute intervals. Here you can see what the apparatus looks like before and after the blood stimulant has been inserted into the system. Once it's been inserted into the system, again, the pump is turned on for 120 minutes, the ultrasonic therapy method is applied, and the pressure is recorded in five minute intervals. Here we have the raw data for the novel ultrasonic vessel function tractor beam based technology, where you can see the decrease in pressure over the 120 minute period. And here
here we have the raw data for last year's vessel function based technology where you can also see the decrease in pressure over the 120 minute period. Here we have the raw data for the commercial available method, the Ultrason 101, and you can see the pressure decrease over a 120 minute period. And here we have the raw data for the control where no ultrasonic technology method was applied to the apparatus. Here we have the combined data that shows the delta in pressure for the 120 minute trial. Here we have the mathematically generated vessel function based tractor beam waveform versus the recorded percussion instruments that have been transposed to the ultrasonic frequency range to represent the vessel function, last year's method. We have the commercial ultrasonic uh, technology and no ultrasonic technology as the control. Statistical analysis was conducted on the data to see if there was a statistically significant difference between the different methods. Now, once the skewing kurtosis values for the raw data was calculated, uh, there were values above 1, so the natural logarithm was taken of the data to try and see if a uh, parametric statistical analysis test could be performed. However, after the natural logarithm was taken of the data and the skewing kurtosis was again calculated, there were still values above 1. So the data was deemed non-parametric and uh, the Kruskal-Wallace test was considered the most effective test to use for statistical analysis. For statistical analysis at 120 minutes, I was comparing all four methods and found that there was a statistically significant difference between the values according to the p-value. When performing a Kruskal-Wallace test comparing the novel method to the commercial method, at 120 minutes there was a statistically significant difference found according to the p-value. This was also found at 90 minutes and 60 minutes. One of the limitations I faced while conducting my research is that I couldn't use real blood. I had to use a blood simulant. So hopefully if I can continue my research in college and university, I will be able to expand my resources and uh, provide more data. But for now, my technology doesn't have any more precautions than the current ultrasonic technology medical devices. The ultrasonic technology is not recommended for use on pregnant women or patients with pacemakers or other medical devices. It is also not recommended to be used in an inordinate way. With these being taken into consideration, the ultrasonic therapy could or should be applied safely. In conclusion, substituting the current method of ultrasonic therapy with the novel method developed will enhance the quality of medical ultrasonic therapy. The improvement in the technology will provide a greater remedy for severe medical conditions such as high blood pressure and deep vein thrombrosis. The therapy will also apply to sport-related injuries such as sprain tissues and arthritis. The concept of the tractor beam in ultrasonic technology also has a very promising future in the development of stem cell scaffolding and other contact and contaminant free procedures and studies. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed the presentation.